Joining me now is Gunnar Nerb, who is Head of Research at IFA. Good morning to you, sir. Yeah, good morning. First of all, are you surprised, again, the figure better than forecast, better than last month? Is this because the euro being weak is holding up exports? But what about the concerns about the debt contagion? I mean, what is the reason for this figure being better than forecasts? Well, we were also surprised, uh, but it's mainly the manufacturing sector, which is uh, very strong. We saw further improvement, not only on the export side, but also investment seems to be picking up. But also outside manufacturing, construction is relatively in a good mood and expectations are even uh, higher than in the previous months. The only weak uh, spot at the moment is the retail trade, which deteriorated somewhat. Can I ask you, is this a one-off figure or is this going to be a trend? Well, we think it's a trend. Uh, the manufacturing sector has increased competitiveness quite a bit. Uh, the sector could even cope uh, with its change rate of 130 and higher. The other ones in uh, French and Italian other industry had some problems. Of course, now the other ones are also getting some impulses with the weaker euro. And uh, in German manufacturing, you see some extra profits now. Ten days ago, the Bundesbank raised the growth prospects for Germany. I mean, is Germany in a different sort of, if you like, zone altogether compared to Greece, France, Portugal, etc.? Is Germany going to be the engine of growth going forward for the Eurozone? At the moment, it looks like that Germany could become the engine, uh, mainly to the, thanks to the manufacturing sector. We hope that this continues and actually at the moment we don't see a risk uh, that this should uh, come to an end very soon. So it looks almost like at the uh, beginning of 2006 so that investment is picking up and is giving some additional momentum. And Mr. Nerv, can I ask you, do those that you surveyed, 7,000 executives, quickly, do they really want the euro to remain weak and to get even weaker? To get the euro even weaker? No, I think at the moment they can cope uh, with uh, the, the euro. Actually, they can cope uh, with up to 130 and higher. But uh, as I said already, the weaker euro is giving some additional uh, impetus. It's uh, an extra profit. Uh, so for the time being, we hope that this will be translated into more Thank investment you. in Germany. Thank you much, sir. Mr. Nerv from the EFO. Thanks so much.